Thailand, nickname I since the age of 17. His height is 182 centimeters. He weighing in 66 kilograms. His record is two wins, two losses, zero draws, and fighting out of Zendokai. Anuson Chopron is a familiar face right here at Ota M6 Fight Night as well. We want to welcome him back. Red corners in the ring, Anusan Tonglo. All right, and his opponent walking in for the blue corner, Mohamed Mohan Mortemula from the Philippines. H22. His height is 168 centimeters. He weighing in 66 kilograms. His record is five wins. Two losses, zero draws, and he's fighting out of... Well, this one is boxing. Three rounds, three minutes. Um, we never saw Muhammad, but we had an uh, encounter with An Anuson before at uh, Fight Night 2. Right? Yeah, I think so, yeah, Fight Night 2. So he was a very, I remember he was very impressing then. But let's see what he can do tonight. One thing's for sure in this fight, he's got his Anusan in the red corner has a 14 centimeter height advantage over Mohammed in the blue corner. Right. And this one is Philippines versus Muay Thai uh, versus, versus Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. Philippines are known for boxing. Thailand sort of isn't. But hey, let's see. Okay, round number one, let's go. Anderson coming out, orthodox. Mohamed Southpaw. Let's see if we see a knockout this time here now we're coming in. Both these two trying to find their range. Big right hook there from Mohamed. Both these two taking their time, trying to find their timing. Boxing similar to Muay Thai, it's like a game in chess. Oh, right hook over the top of Mohamed. And that's normally what the Southpaws like to do. They like to zip the right hook over the top and then left hand straight down the pipe. And Son in the, in the corner here needs to get out. Big right hook again from Mohamed. See, it's, this is one of my favorite matchups. Uh, Southpaw versus an Orthodox. It comes down to the footwork. Right. Mohamed seems like pressing, pressing the action right now. He, he got Anusan on the back foot right now. Anusan doesn't have an answer for this. He needs to step to the left and throw that right hand. Mohamed just needs to keep what he's doing, really, because his right foot's on the outside and it's, it's exposing his stronger weapons. Oh, swinging a miss from Anderson and he pays for it with a quick right hook from Mohamed. Both these 
two, not doing too much right now. Anderson too scared. Well, not sure what to throw. And Mohammed waiting to throw. Right. Still feeling each other out a little bit right now here in the first round. Not too much action yet. They're feeling each other out. Someone's got to let it go at one point, though. There we go. You just said it. You just caught it. Quick flurry from Mohammed, but it's sucked up quickly by Anderson going into the clinch. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Yeah, 10 seconds of the last round. End of round one. End of round one. Yeah, so uh, pretty much even so far. They've been filling each other out in the first round. Um, to be honest, I'm going to have to disagree with you, man. I'm going to give it to I'm gonna give it to Mohammed in the blue corner. He was right. sharp with that right hook. Right. And he landed more shots than Anderson, really. Right. Anderson looked like he was a rabbit, a, a deer, in the, right. deer in the headlights of the truck, really. Right, right, right. Didn't know what to do. Didn't have an answer for any of that. Right. Mohammed definitely was, was pushing, was pressing the action here in the first round. So, yeah. Let's see if he can bring that more. It just needs to add on to it. Both these boxers need to add on to that work rate more in the second round. Right. Especially Anderson. Here we go, round two underway. Round two underway, let's see. If somebody's <laughs> Stiff jab from Mohammed. Anderson in the blue trunks. Sorry, Anderson in the red trunks, Mohammed in the blue trunks. Anderson, Orthodox, Mohammed Southpaw. Anderson really unwilling to engage here. And Mohammed's just waiting for him. Anderson staying on the outside. There you go. That hook straight left lands again for, Anik, for, for Mohammed. Better jab here from Anderson, trying to use his range a bit more. That's what he needs to do. He needs to see more of that from Anderson. Oh, big left hand lands for Mohammed. And Anderson really quickly sucking him up in the clinch. from Anderson. I think the right hand just connected. Quick flurry from both fighters. A little bit in the, for a moment there. Oh, big left hand there from Ahmed. Big left hand, big left hand. Anderson swinging wild, he's swinging wild now. He's letting it out, he's swinging wild right now. He needs to do something. But Mohammed is just soaking up this work rate. A couple of shots came through. Oh, it looked like he elbowed him there. Mohammed, maybe it was a quick uppercut, but it did almost look like an elbow. <laughs> Mohammed, me in the mark. And there you go, end of round number two. End of round number two, here you go. 
the sun let it let it fly just now real wild but he had to do something right, he didn't have right. a lot to answer with in the first round did he right 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 he seems he seems uh, tired now let's see if he emptied his gas or if he still got some gas in the tank for the third round now i think mohammed is still he looks like he, looks like he's not breathing too heavy he's anderson not so much either Yeah, Mohammed seems still calm and collect, taking his breath. He's done, on. he's done the basics perfectly, Mohammed. He's lined himself up pretty well footwork-wise and just done simple things, landing that right hook and then the straight left. Here we go, start of round number three. Third and last round, here we go. Back, back, back. Oh, big left hand there for Mohammed. Combinations by Mohammed. And Anusan almost want to wrestle him down in the clinch. Clinch being broken up here from the referee. Mohamed leaning in here trying to bait Anderson in. We have Anderson from Thailand in the red corner. And Mohamed from the Philippines in the blue corner. Left hand just missing there for Mohamed. Anderson just trying to pick his shots here, trying to pick his range. soaking him up in the clinch. Yeah. Saw an opening there, went for oh. it. Anderson went straight for the Mohammed. Can he finish him here? Got over a minute to go. And Anderson comes back. Anderson comes back. Swinging hard again. Last 10 seconds in this fight, let's go. And there you go, there you have it. End of the third and final round of our co main event. Let's see how the judges scored it. Okay, we take it to the judges' scorecard for our co-main event. And by unanimous decision, the winner is in the blue corner. Blue corner, Mohamed Mort. Mortel Ula from the Philippines.
All right. Wrapping it up, Mohammed is. Our co main event, they are still celebrating in the ring right now with Mohammed. Great job. Really technical Unanimous fight. Unanimous decision. Very technical fight, very technical boxing fight. But uh, Anusan didn't have no answer for Mohammed's attacks. So. Just goes to show the basics when you fight. All Mohammed had to do is line himself up, throw that right hook and left hand. That left right. hand was landing all night, all right. night long. Right. That, that really stole him the win. Right, nasty. Alright, you know what it is, Ultra Instinct Fight Night 3, see you on your main, in our main event. Bye.